Uh, in, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Excel add-on for Azure ML Studio. Uh, you can use your created web service in Azure ML Studio uh, and to call them through the uh, in Excel using the specific add-on that is provided. Uh, here, I'm going to show you a, a very common example of Azure Machine Learning for Titanic problem. So this is the Azure ML Titanic problem web service that I'm already created. This web service used the previous data of the passengers that they already survived or didn't survive to predict that the passenger with a specific passenger class, uh, gender and age are going to survive or not. So this is a test of this. Once so I'm going to say that I have a passenger with passenger class 1 and she's female with the age of 40. Uh, this is a test. So look at that how it's possible. So this is 1. We have the female band with possibility of the 96% is going to survive. Now I'm going to look at the Excel add-on of this and to see how I can run it through Excel. So here, this is a place that you should click to access the Excel one. When I'm clicking and ask me that, do you like to actually have a sample data that help you to run the Excel through that? I said yes. I'm waiting till it's open. So it's open the Excel file for me. I'm just waiting till it's, uh, it's Excel come. So yes, here is our Excel uh, that we have. I said that yes, I'm going to change this Excel file. So just enable it. So here you see that the Azure ML add-on appears here. And this is the one web service that I have. So also you can add other web service if you like. So I'm going just to run the first one that I'm interested for Azure ML for prediction. Uh, as you see here, there are three main area here. The first one shows the schema, the input and the output of the web service. So here we have passenger class, gender and age as an input. And also we had the output, the output of the prediction that is about passenger class, gender, age, uh, the score for probability of they are not going to survive or they are going to survive and also the result of so it's zero stand for they are not going to survive and one stand that they are going to survive so it shows the result and also if you have any global parameter here is a prediction area that you provide the data that you like and the output i will go back to this and here if any error happens so i'm going to use the sample data that it provides for me so i'm here uh, because I have the header, so I said that yes, include the header. In the next part, you should specify the output, where, in which cell you want to show the output. So I said that I'm going to show the output in and from N3. And, yep, I do not like the header. And also, I want to auto prediction. That means that every that I provide the out value, it show me the prediction. Now I'm going to predict. So I'm said that I click on predict, and I see these values. So if I uh, provide other data, for example, another one for passenger number, uh, that's a passenger class is two, and it's the female, and it's fifty six years old. So yeah. I got the data here so you see that it's constantly provide so also you can add other data here for example passenger one with the age of 20 so you see that it's provide the result here so you can also can have the header sometimes sometimes uh, it couldn't able to distinguish where is the input so you just click here and specify the data that you have and just click in here and it should be solved by then so sometimes it happens so you can use that one and as you see there is no error here that I have 
So it's all about the Exomazon. It's really easy to use, and I hope that it's be useful for you. Thank you.